Chapter 11. It was 37 years later, one night in 1950, in a Philadelphia newspaper officer office, the sports editor was planning his next day's page. Several reporters worked at their typewriters, and a copy boy hurried into the room, put some papers on the editor's desk, right off the Associated Press wire, he said. The editor glanced at the top sheet. Well, a hometown celebrity, the coach of our Philadelphia Eagles, Jim Thorpe, listen to this. Jim Thorpe, that almost legendary figure of the sports world, had additional laurels heaped upon his brow yesterday when the nation's sports expert named him the greatest male athlete of the half century. Here's our headline for tomorrow, said the editor, Jim Thorpe named greatest athlete of the last 50 years. Say, that's fine, said a junkie man at the next desk. Everybody knows he's the greatest, but I'm glad they chose him while he's still alive to enjoy it. Jim Thorpe was surprised when he learned of the new honors which had come to him. He liked to think back on the 15 years he had played professional football and sports writers said he had done more than anyone else to make it popular in America. The big, slow-speaking Indian had helped start the Professional Football League back in Canton, Ohio, 1920. For six years, he had played in Major League Baseball, mostly with the New York Giants. Now he was being honored for his wonderful record in sports and on top of his great college and Olympic career. First, he had been chosen the greatest football player of the half century and now the greatest all-around athlete of the half century. The Commonwealth of Pennsylvania selected him as the outstanding outstanding athlete in its history and the state of Oklahoma elected him to its Hall of Fame. Warner Brothers wanted to make a movie of his life and the mayor of Philadelphia was giving a big dinner to present Jim with the keys to the city. Little did he dream that soon there would be a city named for him too. Four years later the old town of Mock Chunk and East Mock Chunk voted to become the city of Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania as a very last tribute. People crowded to congratulate him on his great record and honors, and Jim smiled good-naturedly as he shook his hands. Memories of his old playing days had come rushing back to him. He brought how bright had been his path in athletics. It felt good to be honored as a great chief once more, but how he wished he were young enough to play again.